Hey guys, I want to show you Join Monster. This is a library that someone in a YouTube comment actually pointed out to me to say, go check this out. And I saw it for the first time maybe a week ago, and I just absolutely love it. So I wanted to make a quick video telling you what this is and just bringing some awareness to it because I think it's a really cool library that uh, helps a lot in GraphQL. So it's called Join Monster, and what this does is it batches requests for you. Now this is specific to uh, GraphQL, and what it does is takes a GraphQL query like so, and then turns it into SQL. And not only when it turns into SQL, it'll combine statements into one. So instead of fetching all the posts and then each post selecting the comments and having multiple SQL queries, um, it does it all in one uh, by using joins and whatnot. Um, so it can be, and then it just returns the data. So here's the whole readme. I recommend coming and checking this out and reading more about but What I'm gonna do is they have this quick demo. Um, if you go to the example repo, you can check it out here. I recommend coming to check this out and uh, playing with it for yourself. And here's the big thing. It only selects the fields that you need um, from the query, and this is big. So here I am here, I'm going to select a, a user, um, and I'm just going to ask for the ID, and int is required, let me see, users, let's grab the users, there we go. And here it'll show you act the SQL that it's executing. So you notice how I only want the ID, so the SQL here, it's only getting the ID. But then if I want more stuff, um, num legs, I have no idea what that is. Um, you'll notice how the SQL query expands. And this can be more advanced too. So for example, if here we wanna get a different type, it'll actually add a join. So if we go to user, let's see, maybe comments. So if we do comments here and get the ID, you'll now notice that the SQL query has become a left join. Um, for comments, and it grabs those, and it grabs ID. But it only does that if I'm asking for the ID, right? Or for comments, and it'll do the join. So it's super powerful, and it's not wasting uh, usage of with your SQL query. So it's super sweet, um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now I wanted to show you kind of what the code looks like to like get this the configuration code. Um, so I have a schema right here uh, of a application that I'm working on, and right here I have a suggestion and board. These are two types. Um, the board here has suggestions, and these are two different tables. So my models here have a suggestion and a board. So in my resolver, I have something called all boards, where I get all the boards, and you can see this is all the code for the resolver. All I'm doing is calling join monster and it's generating SQL, and I take the SQL and I execute it. Now, to like tell Join Monster how to do this, I create this Join Monster metadata. So it maps the query fields directly over to uh, SQL, unless you tell it otherwise. For example, suggestions, we need to do an inner join. So to tell it whenever we get suggestions from board to do a join, you have, you see right here, I'm doing SQL join, and then I'm saying the board ID and the suggestion table, uh, or the board table and the suggestion table to like match these up and do the join. And that's all That's all I had to do to configure this. Um, and then suggestion here, you give it the unique key. And now that, that allowed me to do is here is what it looks like. I can go ahead and run this. And if I come over here to terminal, you can see, you can scroll to the bottom. I'm doing a left join on suggestions, but if I get rid of suggestions, I'm now not no longer doing a join. So I'm only, here's the code for it, no join. So you, I'm only doing it for the fields that I need, and this is big, big stuff. And I'm actually using Apollo data, so my, my example here looks a little bit different than, um, you'll see the join monster. By default, they're using this GraphQL the default GraphQL package, but if you just do Google join monster Apollo data, there's actually a uh, issue about it. 
and you'll find that there's this uh, Join Monster GraphQL Tools adapter that I use, and this allowed me to uh, use it with Apollo Data. So I, I am using this with uh, my new projects now because this is just big, saves a lot of time for the database. It's quicker to actually get stuff up and running. Um, it not only makes queries run faster, but they're more efficient. It, this is huge. I am loving the library so far, so I highly recommend you come check it out. I am going to give a more detailed example of how to add this to your project in a future video. I'm going to walk you through setting this up, as you can see how I have it here, and give more examples on how you would go about doing that. Because I think this is a very cool library and highly recommend checking it out. So. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.